MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball and brings now, us to the Sunshine State at Marlins Miami. Park in Miami. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the L.A. Dodgers and the Miami Marlins. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Digging in the switch hitter, number 87. He comes in today, leading the National League in hitting this year. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Harold Reynolds, this Dodger ball club, as they enter play here this afternoon. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Look out. They're starting to put it together. When you get to this territory and you start moving into a week of solid baseball, that's a club starting to come together. I'm looking at one right now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. No one better. Stay hot. Keep it rolling. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to center field. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. This isn't even fair anymore. He's making sure nobody has a chance to even touch him, that he'll be in the record books forever. Now at the plate, number 70. First that shot for him here. Two second hits and five point. trips a night number ago. Number 70. Hey, you're pissed. Drive it deep, huh? Here you go. The one and two pitch. There he goes. Grounded to third. And he's retired one away. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. HR, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Well, the key here, Matt, is clearly execute. They got to catch the ball. And if you get an opportunity to hit and run, you got to do that on the offensive side. This is the type of team that has to generate and make their own things happen in order to force mistakes on the other team. Batting Giancarlo third. Stanton now. Right First fielder. chance for him here after John appearing Carlos as a pinch hitter Stanton. in the game last night. Find me a barrel right here. Oh and one, here it comes. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse, a home run. A long two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Home run number 16 for him on the year, and the Marlins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff, homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. So digging in now, number 35, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. Number 35. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the center fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. Solo shot to right center. Number 26 for him on the season. And the Dodgers are within a run. It's now two to one. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shock. 
Digging in for his second at bat. Number 87. Number 87. He'll hit from the right side of the batter's box against the left-handed pitcher. Hey, have a look. And a layoff hey, fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. This is the guy they're going to have to be careful with. He could put three runs on the board in a hurry. So expect them to try to get him to chase something out of the zone if they can. Here comes the 1-0. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Peterson. And it's gone. So a three-run blast to deep center here, and that's home run number 48 on the year, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. And you can see why they love this guy. He's a leadoff guy with some serious pop, and he pounces on this mistake and knocked it right out of here. Digging in and looking for more. Number 87. Number 87. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. From the windup, the one one pitch. Hit hard up the middle. Throw to first, will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Austin Barnes. The 0 and 1 delivery. Here's a pop up now. And Danny will make the catch to retire the side. Ladies One left for LA. It's time Still for the 8 to 2. Seventh inning stretch. Digging in once again. Number 87. He homered earlier and is 2 for 3 to this point. Hey, drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder. To the track, to the wall. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times, and this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game. If this guy comes to the plate, you might want to pitch around him. Hey, a nice win for them all around. And an even better way to start things off on the first day of summer when every team looks ready to get on a roll. 10-3 at the end of this contest. The Miami Marlins get the win on the heels of four home runs. Wei-Yin Chen with his fourth win this season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Hyunjin Ryu was slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time.